Greetings faculty and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to show you how to save documents you've scanned directly into your Google Drive. So here's how this works. In the description of this YouTube video there is a link to a Google spreadsheet with the script already um, attached to the spreadsheet. So all you have to do is make a copy of the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description below. From there you'll have to then authorize the script to run. The script is called Gmail Attachments and you'll first have to run step one which will grant it permission to run and then step two is actually run the program. But before you run the actual program you do want to make a couple changes to the actual document. Um, when I first opened this up where it says send to Google Drive the word inbox was here. Now I've crafted my system to work that any label that has send to Google Drive on it and I'll show you how to attach a label to incoming emails um, also but anything that has the label send to Google Drive um, will be picked up by this script and then the attachments will be then moved into a Google Drive folder. So um, this will make more sense as we move on. So let me now take you into my Gmail filter settings. So if we scroll to the bottom, I have this filter built in this fashion. It's basically saying any message that matches a from message from me. Now the reason it's me is because I'm logged into the photocopier. So any email coming from the photocopier is actually coming from my email address. So any message that's coming from my own email address that has the subject line scanned from a Xerox work center. All right, this is the subject line that is sent every time you receive an email attachment from the photocopier. So what we're doing is basically categorizing a specific type of message. Um, and we're only going to pick out those messages. And of course it must have an attachment. So this is kind of the criteria, the top line. And the second line is this is what it's supposed to do. So I've set it up to skip the inbox um, because I don't want to know that it's arrived in my email. I have it marked as red. That way it's not shown as an unread message. And I apply the label as it comes in, send to Google Drive. Now note from the previous screen, this is important because what we said was that any message that arrives in my inbox and has this label will then be automatically added to my Google Drive. Okay, so now let's take a look at my Google Drive. And now you can see here, here are two scans that I've done just to give this a test. And it's actually created a folder all by itself called Gmail Attachments. So now anytime I go to a photocopier and choose the option Send Email, that document, whether it be a PDF or an image file or any other type of file, will land in my Google Drive in this particular folder. So this will save one extra step of actually adding it to my Google Drive from an email attachment, it'll just be there. And then of course, because I'm archiving the email message and marking it red and skipping the inbox, um, it won't clutter up my email either. So if you have questions or are interested in setting this up, I can certainly uh, walk you through how this works. Um, but this is how you get it going. Um, and it, it is a, a quite a nice feature um, to be able to do this with filtering and um, Google Apps Script to accomplish this.